So, good morning, dear students. Good morning, teacher. Good morning. Good morning. I'm glad to see you in my classes. How are you today? Cool. Cool. After, After holiday, yes, hmm? rested, happy. Yes. Not bad. Mm -hmm. Everything is all right. Everything is all right. Okay, thanks a lot. Now let's get down to our lessons. Mm -hmm. Dear students, uh, let's uh, have our lessons in such kind of manner. Let's not to use the word very. Recently, uh, we had such kind of uh, event in our life, not to use word very. So, you know, in fact, there are a lot of uh, words that is used instead of very. If you would like to say very good, instead of very good, you, you can use teeny. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now let's get down to our lesson. Okay, so these students, um, today we will study about the process of writing. So <clears throat> process of writing differs a lot uh, from uh, enumeration. If you remember in enumeration, you were um, used to do um, the least of the actions. You have to number the list of the actions. So process is looks like enumeration, but in enumeration, enumeration is a short uh, list of sequence of actions, uh, but process is a long-term action. Okay, let's get down to process. What is process? So when we support sentences that are arranged in a step by step sequence, which tells how something is made or done, this development is called process. So the process development is in fact a kind of enumeration, but here we are usually dealing only with steps or stages so we will uh, get down to this uh, short story later a little bit later right now i would like to introduce you is writing instructions so instructions can be given in many ways a number at least with the imperative form of the verb is one common way Continuous text using the passive form of the verb with should is another common way. Like you should do, for example, you should uh, wake up early. You should do walking or do running. Uh, you should wash your face, wash your mouth, do a gym. You should go to school, for example, and so, so on. Make sure, dear students, you distinguish between giving instructions, that is telling someone how to do something and describing a process that is describing how something happens. Look at the following examples of different ways of giving instructions. Notice the language items in the boxes, like here. Uh, so we have here following examples of different ways of giving instructions. Put the scores in order down the page, work out, calculate, square, add, divide, find. So this is a standard derivation of the, <coughs> of the giving instructions. So let's go back to our model paragraph. So how to cook bishparmak? Here we have a process of cooking bishparmak. First, next step, following step, 
the last step and so on first next stages then later finally okay who would like to read may i nah, may i <clears throat> how to cook fish parmak Kazakh, uh, Kazakh bish parmak basically means five fingers in Kazakhstan. Bish parmak is a boiled meat with noodles, and uh, it should be eaten using five fingers in order to enjoy the dish. The dish is almost always served on a large platter to, <clears throat> to be enjoyed by guests on a dasterhan. You can cook bish parmak with horse meat, lamb, beef, or even chicken if you have nothing else. First, you will need to get a big pot filled with water, add salt, and the meat with potatoes should be boiled in a spot. We usually put in big chunks of meat and cut it later. Following this step, you can also add horse sausage, kaze, in that spot. Meat needs to be cooked for two or three hours. The next step, while the meat is cooking dough, should be prepared. In order to make noodles, you need flour, eggs, water, and um, salt. The quantity uh, depends on the amounts you want to make. Uh, then, dough uh, should be divided into a few pieces. Uh, need to be rolled thin using a rolling pin. You should make large thin uh, pieces of dough and uh, they should be cut into small sheets like regular uh, pasta. Then these sheets of dough should be cooked in a pot with boiling water. The following step is preparing the sauce. It's just chopped it, uh, chop it up and <coughs> boiled onions with lots of pepper and the salt. Then when all parts are ready, sheets of dough should be gotten out from spot and place it on a large round dish. Toast need to be poured and the potatoes should be put on top of pasta. The last step, the meat should be cut with a big sharp knife uh, by the man of a family and the need to be placed on top of everything. Lastly, ready, ready bishparmak is served with soap. It is well known that the traditional liquid fish of Kazakhs is called Nauru Skozhe, which consists of seven components, meat, wheat, corn, millet, peas, rice, and iron. Okay, so how is it made? The, the, Diana, I would like to stop you here because you see, here we have enumeration, dear students. Mm, yeah. Mm -hmm. Enumeration differs from the process in, in because uh, the process describes uh, how something is done. I think you, you understood the difference between enumeration and the process, yes? Yeah. Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, thanks a lot. Continue, please. So how is it made? First, boil the water for two, uh, three hours on low, a low heat. Meat is boiled until fully prepared so that it becomes soft and tender. And the next stages are cook, cook the wheat, millet, corn, peas, and the rice for 20-25 minutes. Cereals um, are cooked separately depending on the variety and the right. method mm -hmm. of preparation. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, then take out the prepared meat cool it and cut it into small pieces. And in the broth, broth uh, put the prepared cereals and the chopped meat on the pan for five minutes. Later, allow them to cool a little. Uh, finally, the Nauris Koje is ready to serve with Iran. These are steps how to cook Nauris Koje. Enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks a lot. So now, most most artificial. Okay, I think that is clear with the process. 
Uh, and here we have another um, short story, but it is connected with instruction writings, giving instructions. So first, next, the same again, printing back and white paragraph, prepared. Okay, let's read both of them then, and mm, try to find out what's the difference between, so between these ones, okay. So, continuous text is the passive form of the verb with should. So another common way of instructions and numbered list with the imperative form of the verb common way. So we will uh, read these two short essays, dear students. Uh, in both of the essays, we have instructions, process, process instructions. The first one is used to this common way with a numbered list of words. And the second one is used with the should, which is also another common way of uh, giving instructions. So let's start then. So I think Zyoda wanted to read. Okay. Um, mouse to mouse artificial respiration. Uh, in certain accidents, if breathing stops, it's possible to save life by artificial respiration. And this means that, um, that someone else Something else causes air to enter and leave a person's lungs. And the method of artificial respiration now uh, recommended, um, recommended by the U.S. Army and the Red Cross and the Boy Scouts of America is a method of mouse to mouse breathing. First, uh, first place the victim face up and uh, tilt the victim's head back so that the chin is pointing upward. Next, if there is any foreign matter in the victim's mouth, wipe it out quickly with your fingers. Okay, thanks and a lot. then uh, with your right hand. Zyoda, mm -hmm. now show me your chin, please. Chin? Mm -hmm. Show me your chin, please. Uh, chin, I think there. Yeah. Yeah. Like, this we... part of our head, yes? This, yes, this chin. part of head. Mm -hmm. Okay, For, uh, continue, please. Okay, then uh, with your right hand, Sam, uh, pull the jaw down um, to clear the tongue from the air passage in the back of the of the victim's mouth, and with your left hand, pinch the nostrils to prevent the air you blow into the victim's mouth from uh, from escaping through the nose. Now, uh, place your mouth tightly over the victim's and blow into his or her mouth. Uh, until you see the chest rise, remove your uh, remove your mouth, turn your head to the side, and listen to the outrush of air that indicates air exchange. Repeat blowing, uh, blowing for an adult. Blow vigorously at a rate of about twelve breaths a minute, and for a young. Uh, for a young child, take relatively shallow breaths at a rate of about 20 a minute. Mm. So thanks a lot. Now you know how to uh, help, how to make mouse-to-mouse -mouse artificial respiration. Yes, artificial. Yoda? <laughs> yes. Okay. You have a lot of information about it. And I think your group mates also uh, learned some methods of making artificial respiration. Okay, yes. so here we see just the um, verbs, yes, words, numbered words of giving instruction. 
So this all instruction uh, describes us the process of give of giving mouse to mouse artificial respiration. respiration. Mm -hmm. Okay, the next one with the help of shoot. Mm -hmm. Who would like to read? Arailum. Okay, um, prints in black and the white photographs. Mm -hmm. uh, first, uh, chemical solutions should be prepared and uh, arranged in three dishes in the in the order in which they will be used developer, stop path and fix. They must be brought down uh, or raised to the correct temperature, about uh, temperature. 20 temperature. And uh, there should be enough of each to give a depth uh, of five, uh, five cent um, centimeters. centimeter. Yes. And the second, the film should be cut into strips so that all will fit onto a single sheet of uh, 10 uh, x8 uh, 18 paper. Clean the negatives and the sheet of glass with anti-static clothes. Then switch off the white light and uh, switch on the safe lights. The third, the en enlarger is a convenient light source. The height of the, ha the head should be adjusted so that is, uh, that is beam illuminates an area slightly larger than, uh, sh than the sheet of glass being used. Stop down to F8 and um, cover the lens with the safe filter. The force take a sheet of printing paper and the light emul emulsion glossy side up in position under the enlarger. It will not, of course, uh, be affected by the filtered light from the enlarger. Lay the negative emulsion mat side down uh, on top of the paper and cover them with the sheet of glass to hold them in place. The fifth uh, switch of the enlarger and uh, then Move the safe filter away from the lens. Switch on the enlarger again and uh, expose the paper for 10 seconds. This should be accurate to within about one second. And the six, the exposed photographic paper should uh, now be taken from under glass and uh, slid into the developer dish. Emulsion side up. The seventh, um, when the paper has been in the developer uh, for about 13 seconds, the image should begin to appear and uh, it will continue to darken for about two minutes. Agitate the paper gently during this period by rocking the dish or moving the paper about carefully with the tongs. The eights, uh, mm, the eights, after the prescribed time, the image researches a stage where there is little further change in its density. At this point, mm, remove the sheet from the developer and uh, let the liquid dry off. The ninth, mm, when the developer solution has drained of the paper, take the second pair of tongues and the transfer it to the stop for, um, for 15 and 13 seconds. The 10 um, transfer the print from the stop path to the fixer. After about a minute, the white light may be switched on and the print can be exam uh, examined. The elements, the print should be should now be transferred to the wash and kept the face down for 20 minutes or at least twice as long for double weight paper. 
In the case of a uh, reason coded paper, it needs only be for five minutes. The 11th, the finish, uh, 12th finished print should now be dried. If it's square, roller, or photographic, blue tint paper uh, is used to remove ex excess water. Care should be taken not to get dust on uh, to the surface, which will remain tacky until the print is dry. Okay, thanks a lot. <clears throat> All right, work on your pronunciation, okay? Okay. You, ha you have made some mistakes. Okay, but that's not a big problem. Uh, you, you have to work hard. So the students, um, we have uh, instructions that are given, that are highlighted with yellow color. And now I would like you to give a test to find out some instructions used with should, but are not underlined in this text. For example, after so you can underline it this students. So you can draw. Yes, you mm. have the ability to draw on the book. For example, Chopin Hanabekwa, you have painted X. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Now <clears throat> But dear students, be careful. Your mm -hmm. instructions you are giving, you are going to underline instructions. Instructions. Mm. For example, I think there should be enough of each to give a depth of five centimeters, yes? Yes. Okay, how do you think? Is it, in, is it instruction? Yes. Yeah, it, it is instruction. It also should be accurate. This in the now show us research. where it is. Um. should begin to appear so for about when the paper has been developed for about 30 seconds the image should begin to appear and it will continue to darken for about two minutes so how do you think is it instruction i am should be great to within about one second yes to within about one second yeah okay what about should begin to appear? Is it instruction? Yes. Okay. Another one? Do should be taken. Any? Should be taken. Yes. Now, Last one. it is. In the 12th sentence. This one. Should be taken. This one should be taken uh-huh excess water care should be taken not to get dust on the surface yeah okay thanks a lot dear students i think we are finished with the process uh, explaining ex explaining uh, instructions so now you have uh, knowledge what is process about Okay, and I'm going to give you a task, these students, um, to write. Just stop drawing, these students. Clean everything, please. Shopan, Anna, Sidikma. No, teacher. 
Uh, so these students, I'm going to give you a task to write uh, a model of essay, a short essay, essay. So, and to use process mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. with uh, simple words, numbered words, and with a shoot. So I think it's clear to you. Okay, do you have any questions according to process? No. No questions. Is everything clear to you? Yeah. Yes, yes. Okay. so if you don't have any questions, <laughs> we have six minutes till the end of the lesson and till the end of the uh, 14 minutes that are given, that are permitted with the Zoom program. Um, but we still have, I think, 16 minutes, yes? So, uh, I think that's enough with recording.